Oh man, you know, I am so excited about this tune tonight. I, I don't know where I don't know where Steve is. I don't know where he went. What what was that? I don't know. I hope he gets here soon because I'm really Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Well, anyway. What? what? No fear on this one. And of course, we're going to get a deep look at this fantastic tune by Kenny Burrell, Midnight Blue. Now, before we get started, check out how you can get more videos like this one. Just navigate to Bruce Gregory Video On Demand. When you get to the site, you can browse videos in a wide variety of categories. Each video covers a different topic and has bonus content and supporting documentation. There's even a free trial option. Don't forget to use your promo code to get a discount off your first purchase. And the link for that promo code is in the description down below. Now, if you dig the video, throw it a like, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell notification because that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. And of course, the channel releases new videos on every Tuesday and every Friday. So let's get started. <laughs> Mr. Kenny Burrell. Man, what a fantastic tune. Now, we're not going to get that deep inside the changes today because it's really just a minor blues. The focus of today is really to get our arms around the melody and the comping and this chord melody that Kenny created around the tune because that really is something that will get you into chord melody playing and solo guitar playing. So let's check it out. is all formulated around a minor pentatonic. So the first part of that chord melody is like this. And really what Kenny Burrell is doing there is superimposing chords within the key signature, which is A flat major or F minor. But the tune is basically hanging on F minor. He's creating a comping model that really is the melody, but it's giving it a little bit more dynamic. So actually the chords become the melody. It's a great, great harmonic approach. The next part sounds like this. <laughs> pentatonic. Slowly it sounds like this. And he's playing that C7 sharp 9 chord in that position. So that's just basically E, B flat, E flat. That's a great voicing and you can move that in minor thirds as well too. And it retains the same quality chord. It's a really fantastic thing. So Altogether, that portion of the melody, and he's just kind of doing that slide. Now, the way I wrote it is from a C, because a lot of times on the album you'll hear him do both. Or, and he's probably, like all of us, playing minor pentatonic, playing 
what he thinks sounds right and sounds slick. So all together, that's going to sound like... The next part... And that's the whole A section, really. So if I put it all together slowly... Remember, he's playing that all over the... All together, it's a really, really slick way to create harmonic depth within the song. section this is where the rubber hits the road for me this is fantastic he does a lot of chord melodies that specifically outline the changes the first part he's just basically playing a b minor 9 or a b minor 7 chord and arpeggiating it c f and then playing the chord and then he does a little line to get that C alt. So all together. And then to F minor. And he plays another version of that F minor to make it sound like he's doing another chord. If you hear it all in context, And it sounds like he's playing four chords when in fact the harmony really is but it creates this really fantastic depth that we can use to solo on in fact a lot of times when I blow on this tune on the bridge I might just blow over the F minor or F minor pentatonic and when it comes to the bridge just repeat the melody It's really fantastic. The next part of the B section, he's just walking the changes down because it changes a little bit. It goes B flat minor 9 or B flat minor 7 to A flat minor 7 to C7 sharp 9 sharp 5 as well. So what he's doing is he's just taking those chords into account. interweaves those little pentatonic lines that are just gold, gold, gold. So, what am I doing there? I'm playing C, F, a B flat minor 9. That's it. And a little line, which is B flat to the 9, to A flat minor 9. Same line again. And that chord we can think of as a sus sharp 9 sharp 5, or I should say sus sharp 5 sharp 9. But I think of it as sharp 9 and then sharp 5 just because of the order of the notes. And that's one of those 6-9 chords, but it's a fantastic voicing. Remember, around minor pentatonic, we can move it all over that scale. Typical of George Benson. The original score I wrote as... Because sometimes he arpeggiates that C7 sharp 9, and sometimes he just hits it. I kind of tend to hit it. tune to blow on as well and while that's really not the focus of the lesson it's really not that hard to take the next step to really learn how to play on the changes because we really have F minor so we're basically playing F Dorian I played F Dorian a lot in this position but you could play it in the first position as well and of course when it goes to the bridge 
I'm kind of thinking as F minor pure, or I might be thinking as B. Kind of like an F harmonic minor. And that's really something that I would be thinking in that position. When it gets back to the C7 or the C alt, I'm again thinking F harmonic minor. So really, you can vacillate between F Dorian and F harmonic minor, except when you get to that A flat minor 7, and that's where the gold is. You're going to play A flat melodic minor or A flat Dorian is fine. So it's kind of a three scale song. Now, you could blow completely modally on F minor pentatonic as well. And in fact, in Kenny Burrell's solo on the Midnight Blue album, he did that mostly. Let's give my solo a listen. Blue by Mr. Kenny Burrell. Now, this is one masterfully constructed tune because it all revolves around comping and the chord melody. And it's one thing that we can really get into very, very deep if we want to play solo guitar. Don't forget all those little chords that Kenny harmonized around the melody and the chord structure. And of course, it's an easy tune to blow on as well because we're really working in F minor pentatonic or F harmonic minor if we want to think of it that way on the bridge. Now, if you dig this lesson, make sure you check out my lesson on Have You Met Miss Jones because that goes over a lot of similar content. Of course, channel releases are every Tuesday and every Friday. I will see you next time. Peace.